17 years old and I'm under arrest for the murder of my best friend. Now this test is the most important test of your life. Okay, show of hands. How many of you are signed up to take the college entrance test this Saturday? Okay, that's good. And I know you're anxious to get in your prep time with Ms. Walters, our CET counselor, so please feel free to sign up for one of her tutoring sessions before you leave today. You know, in the last 20 years, of all the high schools in America, Lexington High has placed consistently in the top 5% on the CET. Go Patriots! So dreading this test. Don't sweat it. They're just trying to scare us, so we'll sign up for their stupid little tutoring sessions. Are you gonna do it? Hell no. I have better things to worry about, like the homecoming dance. Are you gonna go? Uh, I don't know yet. Maybe. What about you, Meredith? You gonna go to the dance? Have you ever even been on a date before? Got any photos of your boyfriend in here? Oh, yep. Here we go. <laughs> Look at this stud muffin. Where'd you find him? The homeless shelter? Kylie. He's my little brother. <laughs> it's kind of mean. Yeah, but it was fun. Five more minutes. Stop writing. This concludes the test. Close your booklets now. <laughs> Ready? Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. What did you get? You first. 1760. 1607? I need at least a 2200 to get into a good school. <sighs> My mother is going to freak. I know, but I've paid her health insurance since you moved out. No, I can't sell the house. You serious? Absolutely. Look, Richard, you forget. I didn't ask you for child support. I could have, but you weren't working at the time. I paid my share. <sighs> She's going to college next year. We need to start putting more money away. I can't, Brenda. Right. I know you can't. No, I, look, I'm sorry. That's all I can do. Okay. Bye. How's dad? Honey, your dad is the nicest guy in the world. But when it comes to raising kids, Maintaining a home, he's a lousy business partner. <sighs> so, what'd you get? 1760. Oh. Well, that's not bad. No, it's bad. <laughs> I will not be getting a scholarship with that score. Yeah. Well, if you want to go to Whittendale, you're definitely going to need a scholarship. I know. Um, so I'm going to take it again, and my homeroom teacher is going to help me. Okay. Good. Good. What happened? I did the best I could, Mom. 1607 out of 2400? Your best? 
I can't accept that. I'm sorry, Mom. Kylie, did you even study for this? Yes. Well, obviously not enough. Do you think that your sister got into Yale by skipping class in high school? By hanging out with the football captain every day? No, she did it by getting her work done. I'll take the test again. I'll really hit the books this time, I promise. You know, Kylie, when I was your age, I did what I had to. And I always found a way to make it work. You want to cheat on the college entrance exam. Shh. Lots of people do it. No way. No way. Look, I looked it up online. It's not that hard. All you have to do is get a couple of fake IDs and put a picture of whoever's taking the test for you. No, I'm not doing it, period. Look at it this way. What about the kid who's really good at fine arts, music, or theater? Does the CET recognize their talent? You write the best short stories, Heather. Does the CET have a section for that? So, I say, why not? Why not just bend the rules a little bit, get into the schools we want, and save ourselves a whole lot of trouble? Okay. Say I might be interested, which I'm not saying I am. Yet. Just suppose. Who would even take the test for us? Do you know what her score was? 23-20. But Meredith would never cheat on a test. And after the way you treated her, I don't think she'd cheat for you either. But she'd cheat for you. You were her best friend. So that's why. Look, I'll offer her a thousand bucks. Don't worry, my dad gives me allowance before I need the money. Once she sees how much money she can make, she'll take my test. I doubt it. Well, might as well ask. What do you have to lose? Congratulations. So, you kicked ass on the college entrance test. Hi, Scott. Leave me alone, Scott. I'm going head to head with the dreaded CET November 2nd. And guess what? I'm going to beat your score. Good luck. Hi, Heather. I'm so hot, I can't handle it. Hey, what do you want? I heard. Did you actually get a 2320? Do you really care? That's amazing. I mean, I'm not surprised you're always so smart. What's going on? Kylie break up with you or she give you the day off? Why the attitude? I thought we were friends. You've barely spoken to me in almost a year, which coincides directly with when Kylie started going here. So, are you going to Harvard or Yale? Nah, I'm thinking somewhere close to home. Maybe Northridge? I don't want to be too far from my brother. Yeah. I want to go to Wittendale, but they're not going to take me. Not with my score. You can retake it. Yeah, I don't think that's going to help. <laughs> I heard that some people are hiring smart kids to take the test for them. For real? Yeah, they're charging like a thousand dollars at least. I bet with your score you could get at least that. Oh yeah, if I was crazy enough to do it. So you wouldn't be interested? Are you serious? No way. Okay. Dad, what's going on? Yeah, she just told me she won't be able to come by anymore. Why not? Well, as of the first of the month, my 
Medical doesn't cover his physical therapy. I gotta pay out of pocket. I'm just not making that much right now. What time you got here? Sup, dude. Wanna watch a movie? I can't. I got homework. <laughs> hey, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Sure. Well, what's up? I don't know what. Honey. So, if the nurse can't come by for his physical therapy, he's not gonna... Yeah, I know. I know his, uh... Condition will get worse. What are we gonna do? When I got laid off from the power plant, I bounced back right away, didn't I? That's no different. No, it just means uh, I'll take on another job. What if I got a job? You're in school. That's your job. Money that's burning a hole in my pocket. Johnny. I was thinking about what you said today about the college entrance test. What about it? Is there someone in particular who is willing to pay? Yeah. Who? Me. So, I was able to download Meredith's yearbook photo. What I don't understand is why you want me to make her a driver's license so she can go clubbing with you guys? We actually need you to make us a school ID card. With my name and my birth date on it. Why? It's none of your business. You're not gonna tell me why? Who cares why? Just do it. I'm not doing anything until you two sexy badasses tell me exactly what you're up to. All right, but you have to swear on your life that you're not gonna say anything. I promise. Meredith is gonna take the college entrance test for Heather. No. That's wrong. I'm gonna call Principal Gonzalez right now. Is he serious? Yeah. Kylie! Relax. <laughs> yes, Don't scare her like that. Okay, here we go. From this point forward, we only talk about this face-to-face. -face. No text messages, no emails, none of that. And you are going to give Meredith this after she takes the test, not before. There's no way we can get caught unless one of us talks. Basically. So I signed up for the October 5th. Luckily they offer this test in like 30 different places all over SoCal. So you will be taking it in Long Beach. That is so far. Yeah, exactly. Nobody in Long Beach knows what I look like. You'll be able to sneak in no problem. I don't know. Come on. All you have to do is sign my name and take the test. How hard can that be? Did Kylie put you up to this? No. No, this is none of her business. You guys aren't playing a trick on me. You called me, remember? Heather. Heather, am I gonna see you after school today? Um, for what? For tutoring. The college entrance test. You signed up. Yeah, um... Uh, I, I kind of want to do that by myself now. Hmm. Well, are you sure? I mean, I've got time. No, thank you. I appreciate it, though. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. Gotta get to the office. How are you feeling? Nervous. You're gonna be just fine. And remember, no matter what, 
I love you. I love you. Where are you taking the test? Uh, Long Beach. Why so far? Everything else is full. I mean, last minute and stuff. Okay, you better get going. It's a long drive. Mm -hmm. Okay, see you at dinner. Okay. Have fun. I was going to pay you after the test. Change of plans. Meredith, come on. Just pay me now or I'm not gonna do it. You still don't trust me, do you? I'm just covering myself in case this is some sort of joke. Is she? Good. She's walking in now. Everything seems to be... Uh-oh. What? She's just standing there. She's changing her mind. I knew it. Heather, you make her go in there and take that test. Wait. She's going in now. I can't believe this. Do I have to do everything? Good luck. Hi. Do you have a cell phone or tablet? <laughs> Name. Um, Heather Marshall. Excuse me, miss. The money? Crip notes. Some kids like to write them on the bills. To do something real fast. What? Book your flight, because you're going to win now. No. <laughs> you got me. Really? <laughs> Definitely. Oh. <laughs> 
Hey, what are you doing tonight? There's a party at Jordan's house. Jordan's. And it's gonna be really fun. Please? I don't have anything to wear. Well, I can fix that. On me. I've waited a lifetime. And this is the night. Oh, God, I am bad at this. Just remember what I told you. I know, I know. Laugh at all their jokes. And? And make them feel all powerful by pretending like I'm a little bit helpless. Exactly. Um, I'll be right back. Okay. Hey, why didn't you call me? I've been going crazy wondering what happened. I took her shopping. Did you see her? She looks amazing. Whatever. How did she do? Oh, she aced it. I'm gonna let her get some drinks in her, and then I'm gonna ask her to take my test. Tonight? Don't you think you should wait? I have to book her before someone else does. You need some help on that? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. I'm Christopher. Yeah, we had biology together in Miss Franklin's class. We did, really? Yeah, freshman year. I remember you. Oh, you sat up front, that's right. Yeah. Actually, I always sit in the middle. You don't remember me, do you? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Let me start it, okay? You wanna, uh, you wanna get some pizza or uh, go see a movie this weekend? This weekend? This weekend, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, let me get your number. Uh, yeah. it's, uh, 323. Three, three. So, are we good? Yeah, of course. You sure? Yep. Right, I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, Kylie. Can I talk to you? I can't remember you. Not right now. Okay, but. What uh, is the matter? I don't know. Chris. Hi. Do you mind if I steal Meredith for a minute? Don't leave without saying goodbye, okay? I won't. So, you look nice. <laughs> look, I just wanted to apologize for what I did. Now, which event are we talking about? The recent assault on my little brother, or the time that you called me ugly in gym class, or the countless other times that you treated me like dirt back when you first started going here a year ago. All of them. I'm an awful person, I'm, I'm sorry. So, Heather told me what you did for her today. She did? Yeah, but don't worry, I'm not gonna tell anyone. I think it's kinda cool. You know, I actually could use a higher score myself. Do you mind taking the test again? Mm -mm. Really? Oh, great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, I'm all booked up. What? I'm taking the test for someone else. Who? Your boyfriend. Jordan! How could you do that? Babe, my dad is gonna kick my butt if I don't get a good score on that test. You knew I was going to ask her tonight. I tried to tell you. Besides, Meredith was never gonna say yes to you. That's my problem, not yours. I can't believe this. How is she even gonna take the test for you? You're a guy. Transgender name, baby. <laughs> Gotta thank my parents for that. Meredith, how's it going? Why did you tell Kylie and Jordan what we did? I... You promised me you wouldn't tell anybody. I was... I thought you might need the extra money for your brother's treatment. Okay, I don't mind taking the test for Jordan, but Kylie, are you crazy? She's liable to report me to the school just to get me in trouble. I was just trying to help. I know. It's been a long day. I know, but it's been a good one. Thank you.
2125? That is so great. Oh, honey, I am so proud of you. It is amazing what a little extra schoolwork will do. What do you mean? Miss Walters, you said she was helping you. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, she was great. What's the matter? Aren't you happy about this? I am, it's just that. What, what is it? Wittendale's so far away. I'm gonna miss you. Sweetie, I'm gonna miss you too. But you're gonna be going to one of the best colleges in the whole country. And you deserve it. You worked so hard for this. Oh my God, I have to call your father. He's gonna be thrilled. 2125. So I hear the hospital board is looking to recruit some fresh blood. Not necessarily fresh. Hmm. I personally would rather see someone like our head of pediatrics sit at the table. Well, if there's anything I can do to help fill that spot, you just let me know. We'll talk. And what about Kylie? Any plans for medical school? Kylie's going to Yale, just like her sister Kathleen. Impressive. My grandson just scored a 2160 in his college entrance test. Wow. Kylie's taking the test in a few weeks. November 9th. We just signed up today. Well, nothing like a little pressure to give us the edge, huh? <laughs> well, why don't we head in the other room? There's an article I read about a hospital in St. Paul I'd like to show you. Sounds good. Would you excuse us, please, Liz? Yes. It was delicious. Thank you. Why did you sign me up without talking to me about it? Because if I didn't, you would miss the deadline. I'm not ready to take it again that soon. Your application has to be in by the end of the year, Kylie. November 9th is the last time. I can't believe this. Well, you have three weeks. I suggest you start hitting the books. You got a great score in your CET. Thanks. Yeah, it was quite an improvement from the last time you took that test. Yeah, I was really happy. Uh, you know, um, in the 12 years I've been helping students prepare for that test, I have never seen a student score jump 400 points in three weeks. That's, um, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. I... I kind of bombed the last one, didn't really get much sleep, so the second time was definitely better. Yeah, I mean, it sure was. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll see you in class. I just had the weirdest conversation with Miss Walters. What do you mean? I don't think she thinks my score's real. We expected that. Why, were you acting all nervous about it? No, I mean, I don't think I was. Then relax. Like I said, there's no way they can prove it. Unless, of course, someone gets soft and admits to it. Are you gonna do that? Picture this, I'm out in the middle of the field, all right, with no eyebrows, only in my chop strap, and a face full of makeup. <laughs> what about you, you got any, uh, you got any crazy debate club initiations? Um, not if you count having to argue the decline of ecological succession. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> okay, I gotta run. I'll see you after school, okay? Okay. We need to talk. You do? I know we haven't always been friends, but this is business. I know you need the money, or why else would you take the test again for Jordan? 
I'm not interested in taking the test for you, Kylie. I'll offer you $2,000. That's double what Jordan and Heather are paying you. Maybe if you hadn't been so mean to me, I'd be willing to do it, but I'm not interested. Meredith, I got it. It's 1,000. That's your school ID. And you will be taking the test in Los Feliz. Los Feliz? That's right down the street. You should have signed me up for the one in Riverside. I signed up last semester. I did not know you would be taking it for me. What are you doing? She's not taking the test for you. Not unless you take it for me, too. Kylie. Look, take his test this weekend, and then take the test for me on November 9th. And I'll even raise my offer to 2,500. So two tests, $3,500. It's a lot of money, Meredith. Your girlfriend just killed our deal. <laughs> See ya. Are you nuts? Meredith! Hmm? Don't listen to a word she says. Good luck on Saturday. Dad, so I want to help you pay for Ben's physical therapy. Where'd you get this? I've been helping tutor students on their CAT. Honey, no, I, I can't take that. I can't take that. I really can't. No, I, Dad, I want to. I'd be lying if I said we don't need this right now. I'm gonna pay you back. There's something else. Your mother would be so proud of you. Name? Nancy. Oh, thank you. Thanks, good luck. My name is Brian. Good luck. Thanks. Hi, name? Jordan Coleman. How'd you do on the test, Jordan? Scott, um, okay, look, you don't understand. I did no, not. You know, I, no, I, I understand that I work my ass off. And now some subhuman low life like Jordan, who never studies, might end up going to the same college as me. What I don't understand is why you, Meredith Porter, someone I look up to, would do this. I think I'm in trouble. Scott? Like, the little twerp from Sci-Fi Club? Yeah, Meredith thinks he's going to tell. She's freaking out. Son of a bitch! Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I need you to call Meredith and calm her down, okay? Okay. What about Scott? <laughs> I'll handle Scott. I'll call you later. Shut your mouth, or you're dead. Hello? Hi, um, this is 
Heather Walters from Lexington High. I'm Heather's homeroom teacher. Is this Brenda? Yes, hi. We met at the open house last spring. Right. Right. I, I'm sorry to bother you on the weekend, but, um, well, there's something that I've been meaning to talk to you about. Oh? It's about Heather's college entrance test score. Oh, right. Thank you so much for taking the time to work with her. Well, see, that's the thing. I didn't work with her. You didn't? No. Uh, we had one tutoring session that was scheduled, but she canceled it. It was about a month ago, and she said she wanted to do it on her own. But that's why I'm calling, because I was wondering if maybe you coached her yourself, or did you hire a private tutor? Meredith helped me study. How come she was never over at the house? Because we went to study at a library or a coffee shop. What's with Inquisition? Your teacher's just wondering how you raised your score so much in three weeks. She's just bitter. Mom, you know how teachers are. She doesn't think I could have gotten that good of a score without her. Well, I've got news for her. I did it without her help. Hey, Scott, what happened? Scott? Scott, 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 what, what happened? I fell off my bike. Tell me the truth. Okay, come on. What's the truth? I fell off my bike. I saw what you just did. Hey, calm down. What are you talking about? Don't act like you don't know. You told Kylie and Kylie told Jordan. What? I swear, I didn't know this was going to happen. This has gone way too far. I'm not taking any more tests. Okay, we'll just give her a couple days. She'll cool down. No, I'm done. Heather. Babe, Heather. come on. Okay, okay, Meredith is right. This is getting crazy. Did you see his face? Jordan could have killed him. Jordan went too far. I just wanted him to scare the little twerp, that's all. Look, I feel really bad that happened, but I need you to help me. If you think I'm gonna tell Meredith to help you now, you're wrong. You have to, please. I've already tried talking to her about it and she hates me. Forget it. It must be really easy for you to walk away right now, isn't it? With your perfect score, Wittendale all lined up, thanks to me. Would you move? You are not going to walk out of this before I get my score. You promised you would move me. I'm thinking that I should apply to colleges closer to home. Are you serious? What happened to Wittendale? I don't think I want to go there anymore. Why don't you change your mind? I've been thinking about it for a while. Um, it's just a feeling I have. Is it that you're afraid to move so far away? Is that it? No. No, that's not it. Did you? Did I what? Honey, did you cheat on that test? No! I'm sorry, but I thought you told me Ms. Walters tutored you. And then she called and said she didn't and was so surprised you were able to raise your score so much. Mom, you believe her and suspect me. You know what? I take it back. Forget it. Just... Mom, I worked so hard to get a good score to please you. I don't care about my CET. 
you were the one that cared so much. Hey, I didn't have any expectation. I've always said as long as you do your best, I'd be happy with you. Forget it. Heather. I have a question for you. Come in. How would you like to go on a cruise with me? Bahamas, St. Lucia. Really? Yeah. When? We could leave tomorrow, be gone for a week, and be back just in time for you to take your CET on Saturday. I thought since you were in here relaxing that you would be ready for it. I will be, and you're not ready. You know, your sister took school very seriously. She would be up all night. I know. I know about all the amazing things Kathleen has done. I've heard it, Mom. Don't shout at me. Can you shut the door, please? <sighs> I'm gonna make this really simple for you. If you don't raise your CET scores, then obviously you don't wanna go to college. And if that's the case, your father and I won't be paying for your expenses anymore. Are you serious? Come graduation, you can get a job, move out, and start paying for your own place. Daddy would never agree to that. It was his idea. I'm so mad at myself. I could have gotten to know you back in ninth grade, but I didn't. Completely wasted two years of my life. You OK? You've been kind of quiet. I'm fine. Yeah. Actually, that's a lie. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on? I've been a mess lately. I just, I need someone to talk to. I'm, I feel like you're the only person I can trust. I feel the same way about you. Actually, I've been meaning to ask you something myself. What? You first. No. You go. All right. <laughs> well, when I'm alone in my bed, I come up with these different scenarios in my head about how you might or might not react when I say this. <laughs> There's no right way to do it, so I guess I'll just come out and ask. Can you take the college entrance test for me? I really need a high score, baby. My parents are driving me nuts about getting into Stanford. Can you just take me home now? What's wrong? Look, I've tried being nice to you. I've offered you good money. OK, I don't think you understand this, Kylie, but I'm not going to take the test for you. Leave me alone. What if I tell the school what you did? You wouldn't do that because your boyfriend and Heather would get in trouble. Not as much trouble as you. You committed a felony. You know that? No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Look it up. You're the one who falsely impersonated two people. Do you have $10,000 worth of fine? I'm gonna spend three years in jail? Didn't think so. I'm signed up this Saturday at Lincoln Hills High. I'm gonna be outside waiting to make sure you show up. And if I don't see you go in, I'm calling the cops and the school. I'm telling Heather what you're doing. Oh, you think Heather's your friend? You don't even know, do you? What? I set this whole thing up with Heather from the beginning. I was the one who told her to tell you to take the test. I gave her the money to pay you. So, bring your A game this Saturday. I need at least a 2300. Okay, folks, make sure you have a valid ID out and ready to show. You can have a number two pencil and eraser. No cell phones, please leave them with the security guard. No computers, no laptops, no recording devices. You ready to go in? Make sure you have IDs out and ready to show. 
Make sure you have your ID out. Okay. Come on in. We're going to get started. I'll talk to you for a second. Hey, Miss Walters. What's up? Well, I just saw your latest score for the college entrance test. You had a 700 point jump since you first took it back in May. Mm hmm. Yeah. Jordan, you know, can we just be frank for a second here? Because I've known you for four years. You are a great football player, but you can't write a paragraph. And you draw naked ladies on your math tests. It's 700 points. You know, it's not even humanly possible. So who'd you get to take the test? Nobody. Come on. We're eating lunch off campus. She's totally on to me. I'm screwed and my dad will kill me. Grow a pair, okay? I said there was no way they can prove it, and that hasn't changed. We just need to stay cool. Okay, well, what about Meredith? If she hasn't already told, she will. She won't. She has the most to lose, and she knows it. Look, I know you don't like me anymore, but regardless, we're in this together. Jordan and I are never going to admit that Meredith took that test for us. I need to know you're gonna do the same. I won't. I'm not stupid. Okay. Okay? Okay. Meredith still has the ID cards. That's the only thing she can use against us, so we have to get them back. And since she's not talking to me, could you please get them from her? How many students do you think are involved in this? Well, those two, but there could be more. Is it possible that they just performed well on the test? Jordan Coleman in the top one percentile? Sarah, you're one of our best teachers. Heather's one of our best students. Well... And Jordan... Well, his family is very generous to this institution. There are a lot of reputations at stake here, including the reputation of this school. Don't you think we should just leave this alone? You are the one that's pushing these students to get in these top universities. So what about the students that are smart enough to get in, but they can't because of these cheaters? I don't think we should let any student get away with cheating. Neither do I. But since this is all speculation, why don't we just back off? Hey, I need to get those ID cards from you. Really? Why? So we don't get in trouble? Okay, let me add this up. You want me to give you all the evidence so that you, Kylie, and Jordan can relax. But if anyone gets caught, I'm the one that gets arrested. I didn't say that. Kylie did. She blackmailed me into taking her college entrance test. Said if I didn't, she'd report me to the police. She said that? I, I didn't know. You are such a liar, Heather. I'm not, I promise, I didn't know. You are. You pretended to be my friend so that you could get a good score on your CET. You're not as bad as Gally. You're worse. You took the money, didn't you? I did it for Ben. Just give me the ID cards and this will all be over. You're not getting them. Why not? Because if I get caught, you all get caught. Give me the ID cards. Heather, get Give me the off. ID cards. No! Heather, give me the ID cards. Go! <laughs> Oh. I don't want to hurt you. All right, girls, break it up. That's enough. Come on, Meredith. Have you looked at your test score yet? How'd you do? I'll check as soon as I get home, Mom. I'll call you back.
There we go. You got that? Okay. Okay. Lock up. All right. See you soon. See ya. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. You good? You locked in? Yeah. Okay. See you, hon. What? Hey, just got home. I to say how sorry I am. Okay, is that it? No. I also want you to know that you're right. I should have never started hanging out with Kylie. I'm not gonna use your score. I'm gonna submit my low one. I worked really hard to get you that score, but I'm kind of glad you're not using it. It's just so wrong. The whole thing's fake. Yeah, like Kylie's mom's boobs. Like Kylie's mom's boobs, exactly. <laughs> All right, listen, if you want those ID cards, I've got them right here in my book bag. Is that OK? Yeah. What the hell? I mean, why don't you just come by and get them? And... We can hang out like we used to. All right, I'll be right over. Okay, bye. Well, that was fast. <laughs> you screwed me. You got me a low score on purpose. Do you realize that was my only chance? I told you I didn't want to do it, Kylie. You need to learn how to listen. OK, you're going to take it again. And you're going to get me a good score. No, I won't. Yes, you will. Or else what? You want to call the FBI on me? Go ahead. Do it. Do it. See, everything about you is a lie. Even when you threaten somebody, you're lying. Just get out of my house, you <laughs> bitch! That's it, I'm calling the cops. Meredith! 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 Give me that phone! <laughs> Give me the phone! 911, <laughs> Hello? Hello? What's your emergency? Are you all right? Who am I speaking with? 911, code 3, 1462 Ravenel Court. Copy that. We're on our way. Oh my god, Meredith! Meredith! Hello? Meredith? Meredith, are you okay? Meredith. Oh my god, you're okay, you're okay.
What's your emergency? My friend, she's hurt. Can you tell me what's wrong with her? Is she breathing? Do you know how to check? An ambulance is on the way, ma'am. You call 911? Yeah, my friend, please help her. What happened? I don't know. Dispatch, I've got a 419 at the location. Repeat, I've got a 419 at the location. Please send back up. Copy that. Sending back up to your location. Mother of the girl who found her. Oh, Heather. Honey. I didn't even know what to do. I couldn't even help her. Oh, sweetie. Excuse me. I'm Detective Roberts. It's my partner, Detective Joyce. You must be Brenda Marshall. Yes. I'm sorry your daughter had to go through this, but with your permission, we need to get a statement from her. Uh, certainly. But do we have to do it now? It's okay. 911, what's your emergency? Hello? What's your emergency? This call came in at 4 o'clock. The officer arrived 15 minutes later. And you identify the voice? Guess that was Meredith. We found these in a landing upstairs. We think somebody might have pushed her over the railing. Oh, my God. Do you think someone broke in? A burglar? It's possible. Why did you come to Meredith's house today? To... to hang out. Do you know if she was involved in anything illegal? Like, did she get high? Did she ever sell drugs? No, of course not. But... But what? Honey, go ahead. She took the college entrance test for some kids at school. Which kids are we talking about? Come on, Heather. Your friend is dead. You need to tell us everything. Jordan Coleman. Kylie Hamilton. And me. So you didn't really come here today to just hang out? No. I came here to get the IDs that she used to take the test for us. Did you find them? No. When I got here, Meredith was. Any idea where they are? They should be in her backpack over there. Whose idea was it to do all this? Kylie's. And she got her boyfriend to make the IDs. You think one of those other kids might have had a reason to kill her? No. I mean, no. Detective. Yeah, the IDs aren't in there. We're going to have to have an officer search you. Is this necessary? I'm sorry, ma'am, but it is. I told you I don't have them. Heather, you ever have any disagreements with Meredith? No. no. None whatsoever. For instance, did she ever come to you and tell you that she was having second thoughts about the cheating scam? Yeah. And you were afraid that she might turn you in? No. She wouldn't have ever done that. She was my best friend. Thank you. That'll be all for now. We'll be in touch. I'm so sorry. It's all my fault, all of it. And I shut my mouth off about your dad and money and you getting into that college. I put so much pressure on you. Oh, Mom. I did it to myself. Hey, what's up? Um, 
Are you okay? No. Meredith is dead. Yeah, right. I went over to her house today and found her body. Well... What happened? I don't know. The cops think that she got in a fight with someone or something. Who? They don't know. Look, the cops are going to start asking you and Jordan a lot of questions. Why? Because I had to tell them about what we did. About the test. What? They think that Meredith was going to rat us out and that one of us tried to stop her. Did they find the IDs? No. Which is weird because Meredith told me to come over to get them. She probably ditched them somewhere. Okay, why did you say anything? Why didn't you just keep your mouth shut like we said? Kylie, my best friend just died and you're worried about your CET scam? Have you lost your mind? Have you? Because a while ago, I thought I was your best friend. Why would they think I killed her? Because she took the test for you. If she would have talked, then it would have ruined your chance at the Ivy League. You're a suspect. So am I. How did she die? I don't know. She fell down the stairs or over the railing or something. Look, the cops are gonna ask me if I had anything to do with the cheating scam. I'm gonna say no. But Heather already told them you were a part of it. They didn't find the IDs. How come? Meredith must have gotten rid of them. So, there was no proof I was involved. Cool, then that's what I'm gonna say. You can't. Scott knows you cheated. And we both know he's gonna talk. Well then, then I'm screwed. They're gonna think I did it. Not if you have an alibi. Where were you today at four o'clock? I was here. Alone. Oh, God. I can't believe this. I was home alone too. See. This is why I came over here tonight. I don't follow. Neither of us have an alibi. If we tell the cops that we were together this afternoon, we'll be okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're good. Okay. Now, the graphics that you made for the ID cards, are they still on your hard drive? Yeah. We need to delete those. Oh, we'll do better than that. I had the privilege of being Meredith's teacher when she first came here. She was a terrific kid, and I'm gonna miss her. Why don't we all take a moment of silence right now and just reflect on what she meant to all of us? I want to remind all of you that if you guys want to talk about this, there are counseling services available at the front desk for anyone that... Jordan. That's right, Jordan probably killed her. Meredith took the college entrance test for him. I saw her do it. That's why he beat me up. But that's why he threatened to kill me. Scott, easy. Why'd you kill her? Hmm? Afraid she was gonna talk? Do shut your mouth or else what? Scott, please. It's all right, son, it's all right. Just hold on. I'm sure these detectives are gonna wanna talk to you. Sit down.
Where were you yesterday afternoon? I was at my girlfriend Kylie's house. Doing what? I was watching TV and stuff. And stuff? Fooling around. Was Kylie a part of the cheating scam too? No. Well, you're her boyfriend. How do we know you're not just lying for her? Because Kylie would never cheat. That boy they just shouted at you. What was that all about? Come on, Jordan. We know you hired Meredith to cheat for you, and we also know you're the one that made the fake IDs for everybody. So just tell us what happened. Scott found out. So I got a little rough with him. <laughs> Keep him quiet. Did you threaten to kill him? Yeah. But it wasn't like I was gonna do that. I just wanted to scare him. Well, what about Meredith? Were you afraid she might tell someone too? No. Well, you beat up this other boy, why not beat up Meredith? Because I knew Meredith would keep her mouth shut. If she had talked, she would have gotten herself arrested. She's too smart for that. You can go back to class now. So you had nothing to do with this whole cheating scam. Look, if I had hired someone as smart as Meredith to take my test for me, I would have gotten a much higher score. Trust me. What was your score? 1422. Heather says that, uh, that you'd pick on Meredith. Is that true? Yes. And I feel really bad about that. But I would never hit her. If you want to talk to someone who actually got in a fight with her, talk to Heather. Give me that out! No! I don't want to hurt you! No! Why didn't you tell us you got into a fight with Meredith? Because we made up right afterward. I didn't think it was important. Anything else unimportant that we should know? I know it looks bad, but Heather and Meredith have been like sisters since second grade. Maybe Kylie and Meredith got into a fight. Did you ever think about that? Like I told you before, she always picked on her. They sort of hated each other. And Kylie had to force Meredith to take the test for her. Kylie claims she took her own CET. Well, then she's lying. You don't believe me. Go talk to a proctor. I'm sure somebody saw Meredith at the test site. We'll look into that. But in the meantime, Kylie told us she got like a 14, what'd she, what'd she get? 22. It seems like Meredith would do a lot better than that. What were you two fighting about? I wanted to get the ID cards from her and she wouldn't give them to me. So I went home and called her to apologize. So you two have a big fight at school and after one phone call, you're back to being best friends? Yes. Are you sure you didn't go to her house and start fighting with her again? All right, gentlemen, we're done here. If you want to speak with us any further, you'll have to do so in front of our attorneys. That would be a very smart idea, Miss Marshall. Thank you for your time. Why didn't you tell me about the fight? Mom, I didn't think it was a big deal. Clearly, it is a big deal. They think that you killed her. Mom, I know who did it. It was Kylie. You heard what they said. She got like a 1400 on the test. If Meredith messed up the test for Kylie, that could explain everything. What? Do you want to explain that? What? You wanted what, Kylie? I just wanted you to be proud of me. You are gonna tell me everything. Right now. 
Are you kidding? I'd give this test to over a thousand kids a year. Don't know if I could pick any of them out of a lineup. Well, if, if you wouldn't mind just taking a look. Yeah. Nope, not really. How about this one? Oh, yeah. I definitely remember her. Well, thanks very much. We'll be in touch. Thank you. Confirms Kylie's story. Yeah, but it still didn't tell us that she's covering for her boyfriend. We talked to the test proctor. We know your daughter took the test. But what about Jordan? Were you aware that he was cheating on the CET? No, I was not. Do you know your daughter's whereabouts yesterday afternoon? Well, yes, she was here with me. Just the two of you? Well, no, Jordan was here. They were up in her room. Is there anything else? No, ma'am, I guess not. Thank you for your time. We'll, uh, we'll show ourselves out. Thank you. What did you do with the IDs, Mom? I burned them. Why would you even bring those home? Because if the cops found them, they would have known I was involved. We will never speak of this again. Understood? Thanks for seeing me, Liz. No problem. Um, I was hoping we could all get together, you and me and the girls, uh, to find out exactly what happened before this thing goes any further. Before what goes any further? Well, the police are starting to think that Heather killed Meredith. Uh, well, that, that's terrible. And you may not like the way this sounds, but Heather believes that Meredith might have deliberately gotten a low score on Kylie's test, and that that could be the reason that Meredith got hurt. Wait, stop. Kylie took that test on her own. Well, that might be what she told you. But she and Meredith told Heather otherwise. Really? Yes. Well, the police would disagree with you. You see, the police talked to the test proctor, and he confirmed seeing Kylie at the test site. They did? Yes. Ask them. You know, I don't know what Heather's telling you, but it sure sounds like your daughter is trying to frame my daughter for murder. Thank you so much. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Who was that? A lawyer. Your dad finally came up with a good one. We're meeting her tomorrow afternoon. Mom, I'm telling you, Kylie and her mom are lying. And the police? And the proctor? Heather? This is not looking good. Mom, do you believe them? I am trying to believe you. I really am. But Heather, you gotta see this from my perspective. You have lied to me so many times recently that I don't even know what the truth is anymore. Mom, I know I messed up. I know that I lied to you, to the school, to everyone. I admit that. But I'm telling you the truth. Mom, I think I can prove that Kylie killed Meredith. I just need to talk to Jordan. Absolutely not. Mom! The lawyer said you are not to have contact with any of the parties anymore. Not, not Jordan, not Kylie, not your teacher, no one. Mom, I'm the one that's gonna end up in jail. No! You're gonna do exactly what the lawyer says to do. Marshall, we have a warrant for your daughter's arrest. Is she here? Uh, no. I don't know where she is. Search the house. You guys, take the upstairs. You've reached Heather. Leave a message. 
Heather, it's Mom. Call me as soon as you get this. The police are here. Jordan, they think I killed her. Yeah, well, don't look at me. Kylie and I were at her house at 4 p.m. that day. Is that what she told you to say? Look me in the eye and tell me that's the truth. Yes. Don't you see? Meredith messed up the test for Kylie on purpose. Kylie saw that she got a 1400, got mad, and went to Meredith's house. Kylie pushed her over the railing. Kylie got those ID cards. I know you love her, but I swear I went over to her house and found her dead on the floor. I didn't kill her, Jordan. You have to believe me. We're running a trace on Heather Marshall's cell phone. There she is, traveling north on Valley Boulevard. Okay, let's go. Thanks. Hey. Hey. What are you doing here? I just... Um... Are your mom and dad here? No. They're at work. Why? Uh... You're scaring me. Heather came to my house this morning. She thinks that you killed Meredith. Says that you got pissed at her because she got a low test score for you. Of course I was pissed at her, but I didn't kill her. You told me that Meredith fell off the stairs. That she went over the railing. Yeah, so? So how did you know that? Know what? That Meredith went over the railing. Because Heather told me. No, I didn't. Kylie, I remember what I told you. You brought her here? Kylie! I told you that I found her at her house, dead. I didn't tell you where or how she died. Only someone that was actually there would know that she fell over the railing. Then I guess the cops told me. You told me she fell over the railing the night before you spoke with the cops, remember? Kylie. Baby. Did you push her over the rail? Please, if you love me, don't do this. Just tell me what happened. It was an accident. I didn't mean to hurt her. And that's exactly what you need to tell the police. No! No! We've got to start telling the truth again. I'm going to change my statement. No, you can't. You can't. I'm gonna go to jail. You can't. I'm gonna tell the police that I wasn't with you that afternoon. No. No. I have to. No. no! You're not going to change your statement! Oh my god. Put that down. Come on. No! Heather doesn't deserve to go to jail, Kylie. Neither do I. I just wanted to get into a good school. That's all. Kylie, you don't even like school. Put it down. Put it down! No! Get down! Let me go! <gasps> Drop it! Heather Marshall, you're under arrest for the murder of Meredith Porter. It's not what it looks like. Call an ambulance. She stabbed him! Uh. And she killed Meredith! Kylie, tell them! Kylie! That's enough. We'll talk to both of you in a minute. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Do you understand these rights? Of the Heather, one more step. Jordan. 
Oh my god. Who are you? My daughter's inside. All right, Miss Marshall, you need to come with me. Mom! Heather! Mom! Mom, I didn't do it! Are you okay? Mom! Mom! Mom. She's my daughter! Heather! Honey! Is this really necessary? Can you take the cuffs off her, please? Mom, you have to go back in there. You have to get Kylie to tell the truth, Mom. Mom, please. Mom, go back. You all right, Connie? She didn't hurt you, did she? Your boyfriend's on his way to the hospital. He's gonna be okay, all right? Kylie, you have to tell me what happened to Meredith. You can't keep covering this up. The truth is going to come out. arrested Heather. They think that she murdered Meredith, but you know that's not true. Kylie, it's mom. I'm here. Open the door, okay? Admit what you did. Just admit it, Kylie. Open up, Kylie. Admit it. Open admit up. It. Open up. Admit it. Okay. I'll open the door, but only my mom can come in. Go ahead. It's okay, Kylie. Only me. Oh, baby. <sighs> Oh my gosh, are you hurt? Are you okay? I called my work, I was worried sick. Oh baby, come on. Tell me what happened, baby. Come on. Miss Hamilton! You will give me a second with my daughter, please! Look, the paramedics told the police Jordan's gonna be okay. What happened today was an accident. He said he's gonna tell the cops that he wasn't with me when Meredith died. He said he's gonna reverse his statement. No, he won't. Jordan loves you. He'd never send his girlfriend to jail. Besides, if he changes his statement, he becomes a suspect. Look at me. You were going to tell them that you were with me at home when Meredith died. Miss Hamilton, we need you to open the door. I will! Give me a minute, please! What about Heather? What about you? You need to protect yourself. Look, baby, we're gonna beat this. Your dad's gonna hire the best attorney in the country. Now, I'm gonna open that door and we're gonna go out. And you are not to say a word to anybody. Do you understand? I love you. I will not let them take you away from me. Kylie's chosen not to say anything. We'll make a full statement with the lawyers present. Kylie, tell them the truth. She is telling the truth. It's your daughter who's lying. Why do you let her speak for herself? Can you get this woman out of my house, please? Miss Marshall, I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside. Heather didn't murder Meredith. Miss Marshall. You know that. You know this is wrong. Be quiet, Kylie. Heather didn't... Kylie, be quiet. Heather... Heather didn't kill Meredith. Not another word, baby. I pushed her. Kylie. It's all my fault. All of it. It's 
the right thing to do. Sorry about everything. Everything that I did. He's inviting us in for lunch. <laughs> Thank you.